Okay, session nine. You guys might remember, um, I was following golf really, really closely back in 2005, 2006. Um, and I remember Tiger was working with Hank Haney at the time, and he was talking about reps. It's all he would talk about. Every time he would get, they'd have an interview and they'd be like, hey Tiger, you know, how's it going? Um, he had some bad shots out there today, and he'd say, oh no, I had some good ones too. I just gotta get those reps in, you know, I gotta get those reps in. And he was right, because he was, he was, seeming more confident than his play was, uh, you know, he wasn't shooting the scores he wanted to shoot, but he'd come off the course and he'd be like, oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine, just give me some time to get the reps in. So this, this session is all about reps. You guys have learned now the basic movements, and we're going to have kind of a casual session. We're just going to go from pitching wedge through hybrid, and we're going to just work on our three positions from each, uh, with each club and um, maybe a few more swings than we usually go through since we're going through every club. But we don't have to be super aggressive. We're really, this is a little bit like the previous session where we, the earlier session where we really tuned into the sensation that we were trying to get. So with pitching wedge, we're just gonna get set up, brace the trail leg, set the handle forward, turn back, turn through, brace, set, turn, turn, Really just trying to tune in to the way this feels. Once I've done those three, I can go up to my extend swing. So brace the trail leg, set the handle, turn back, extend up with the spine. Again, brace, set, turn, extend up. Brace, set, turn, extend up. So I've done three of those. Now I'm gonna to go to the explode swing. So pretty similar length back swing, but we definitely wanna have that explosion through impact and beyond. So brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, Explode. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my eight iron. And again, we're gonna start with the little one. Brace, set, turn, turn. Brace, set, turn, turn. Brace, set, turn, turn. Okay, now the extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Okay, now to the explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. One more of these. Brace, set, Turn, explode. Okay, now six irons. Back to the little ones. Brace, set, turn, turn. Brace, set, turn, turn. Brace, set, turn, turn. Okay, now extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Brace, set, turn, extend. Okay, now explode with six iron. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, Turn, explode. I don't know if you notice it, but you'll see on a lot of PGA Tour players, especially when we start getting into longer swings, like six iron down to driver, you'll see that they might start here with their lead foot, but by the time they finish their swing, that foot will have dragged or slid open several degrees. Take a look at that next time you're watching some swings on tour, or if you're on YouTube scrolling and you want to look at some swings, that's a really interesting thing to see, that lead foot just kind of sliding across the ground and no amount of 
uh, soft spikes is, are going to keep your foot in the ground and we don't want your foot to stay in the ground because if they did, again, they would just be limiting or restricting your ability to turn through the ball. So it does tell us that some of the best players in the world, most of the best players in the world are rotating really, really well through impact and they're rotating so hard that their foot is sliding across the turf. Okay, now hybrid. Start with the little ones, brace, set, and remember with these longer clubs with less loft, our preset position is not going to have our hands quite as far in front of the club head because the ball position is going to be more forward because the club doesn't need to be leaning forward to get sweet spot contact. So we'll brace, set, turn, turn, brace, set, turn, turn. This, this, this is an actual shot you could use on the course. It'd be like a 25 yard chip and run um, from off the green. But think of it like a real motion, like you're actually a shot that you could actually use. Brace, set, turn, turn. Okay, now we're gonna go to the extend. So brace, set, turn, extend. And brace, set, turn, Extend, brace, set, turn, extend. Okay, now to explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn, explode. Brace, set, turn. Explode. Okay, so that is a little bit of a workout. Uh, three, six, nine times pitch, eight, six, hybrid, four, uh, 36 swings. Um, that's a pretty good little session. You could probably do that twice in a day and it'd be really, really valuable. Remember the big takeaway from this session. It is about reps. It is about learning this thing that you've learned to do but taking that, that learned thing and making it into a pattern that you can consistently repeat. And that's what the repetitions are for. All right, guys, great session. Uh, I got a little workout in. I'm feeling good, and I hope you guys are too. And I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback and hearing your thoughts about this session.